up everybody it's another fresh saturday in western trending of benchmark films the only place where you find trending interviews of celebrities business personalities fashion and movies both local and international West Nile Trending. West Nile Trending. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with a fresh Saturday West Nile Trending. 8 p.m. till Mama calls you. That's the time that you should cut the program live at Benchmark Phones Uganda. It's a blaze, blaze, blaze Saturday as you see me. It's your boy M Season 1s and 2s, well dressed smart, designed by our collections. That is and gentlemen, a few headlines on what has been trending in West Nile. We're telling you one of the biggest boss lady by the names of Sheila throws up a 3 million birthday on Saturday, day 5th at Cup 1. MC Danico, aka known as the voice of the voiceless, was caught in an act of stealing a boxer <laughs> at Don Pedro Station. We're telling Alfie Shadi, the King Kong, known as the one of the biggest rap soldiers in West Nile, claims to be the trending West Nile artist. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, Still going on with the headlines, we're telling you DJ Mandezo, X, DJ Roger Ray Flex at Club High Five because of a word that DJ Roger Ray used that you are not a professional DJ. Ladies and gentlemen, I remain your official host, MC Season 1s and 2s, the king of the mic. Straight out are back. Benchmark Films Studios, we are getting back in a few. everyone you are watching west nile trending i'm your girl ga swaga senior woman rapper keep watching it every saturday from 8 pm to 9 pm benchmark films uganda keep it locked peace and love you welcome back from the commercial break i remain your boy mcs in ones and two still on the mic so we're still in you ladies and gentlemen we're still with mwana muwala shula as i told you on the headlines she spent a three three million on her birthday rumors going here and there that uh she got money from someone she called someone and someone from some region sponsored her in that birthday so one of our journalists had to go to her try to find out is it really true that the money that she spent on her birthday was being given by someone and this is what the lady known as sheila the boss lady of west nile arua says about her birthday you are speaking with west nile trending oh yes and uh we are in online tv but in west nile i hope you heard of it yeah yeah i have okay uh rumors have it that uh you had the most expensive birthday in the whole of the region is that true <laughs> yeah and uh is it true that uh it was supported, but not done by you yourself. Supported by who exactly? Well, that is the rumor that we have, that you are bragging about a birthday party that was organized for you, but not you yourself standing on it. Is that true? <laughs> Just take what you hear. I don't have time for rumors. Okay. I had my birthday party, I enjoyed, I had fun with my friends, and that's what matters. Okay. The rest, I don't care. Okay, you see, you see, what happens is, eh, this, this is West Nile and this is West Nile trending. And uh, you are one of the trending persons in the region so far. So what do you have to tell people out there who have heard about the most expensive birthday in the region? It was a 
It's that expensive. Okay. If I say something simple, I had a simple dinner with my friends, and really, people are just trying to make a big deal out of it. Okay, being uh, like just like what you've said, that people are making you know rumors about it. Like, how expensive or how much did you invest in the birthday? That I can't say. Okay. Well, what was the capacity? Like, how many friends did you invite? I had uh, about 16 people. 16 people. And, uh, like, it, it was, it, was, it, was it a corporate kind of dinner or stuff? Yeah. Okay. And uh, we are told the decoration was one of a kind that has never been spotted in the town. <laughs> yeah, the deco was beautiful and uh, I think one of the best I've seen in the region. So far, those guys are really good. You can check them out at Flora Hub. Um, briefly, maybe, you can just uh, let us know how, how the organization went and uh, Maybe just a approximate amount that you spent in it. No, that I can't say. Trust me. Okay. Well then, Sheila, thank you very much. This was uh, West Nile Trending and we're glad to hear from you. Okay. Once again from us, happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you heard what Mwanamuala, aka known as Sheila the Boss Lady, said on the rumors that were said on, uh, on sorry, on pardon, on the rumors that were said she got money from someone the girl is defending herself that she spent her own money she invested in her birthday called some corporate guys some few chosen people to come and attend her birthday if you really missed don't make it a big deal that like she borrowed money she got money she really invested in it and she made her birthday so blazing so you who is watching you who is uh, taking rumor from here and there try making yours to be better than the boss lady known as Sheila. In another gossip, we have uh, one and only aka MC Danico known as uh, Voice of the Voiceless was really caught in an act of stealing a boxer. This is what MC Danico says and defends himself as our journalist tried investigating and interviewing him. This is what he said. This is West Nile Trending. Uh, West Nile trending? Yes. Yeah. So I had a rumor that uh, you stole a boxer. Uh, yes, and uh, I don't know what are you going to tell me about that. Uh, I did not steal a boxer, that's what I can say. Hmm? I've, never been a, I've never been a thief and I'll never be a thief, so that's all I can say. Okay. Yeah. Man, I'll never, I can never, I can't do that, I can never be a thief. I did not steal a boxer and I'll never steal a boxer, but for what is a boxer? Okay. He was a boxer. Okay. He did. Hmm. By the way, you see, in West Nile right now here, hmm. we have uh, we have uh, people who are not happy with you. Not everyone is happy with what you do sometimes. Hmm. And you have just eating, what have you, so anything. And I was I was even told uh, there some stuff going around saying that they found the boxer in my bag, what what. Mm. I asked myself of all things, so how that if at all they said maybe I saw something bigger than I thought it would be, it would have been better. Mm. Now they all me, like me, me, I, I host Insta and then I'm always in public with people. How will it sound? Is that something that's to ruin someone's reputation? Maybe mm. they want to blackmail me, something of that kind. Otherwise, yeah, I can never steal a book. I can never steal a book. And I do not steal a book. Mm. So if you want, if you want the whole story or your, the whole detail for me, that's what they're saying, yeah? Okay. Yeah? Sorry? You want to get the whole detail for me, right? No, I've got you already. You, uh, you have said something and uh, yeah, that is it. Yeah, I'm talking to you? West Nile Trending. West Nile Trending. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Danico. <laughs> okay. Okay. I hope you heard part of what MC Danico, aka known as Voice of the Voiceless, the one of the training MCs in Westdale, I think uh, this is what he said. He says he never stole a boxer. It was a rumor. But why, people, do you take rumors here and there? You want to conflict people. You guys were like, hey, do you know what? MC Danico, someone goes on our media, someone posts on Instagram. Like, man, you guy, MC Danico stole a boxer at uh, 
at Don Preso Station and he was caught in boo. He was coming out. He had to hide a boxer. Really, really. So MC Danico tries to defend himself and says his fans, the ones who are supporting him, the ones who are truly believing in what he is doing, he never stole a boxer. Those are rumors. So ladies and gentlemen, this is still West Nile training at Benchmark Phones Uganda every Saturday 8 p.m. till mama calls you. We are always live, 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 live. And this program is proudly sponsored by one of the biggest trending boutique in West Nile that is our collection at Concord Business Center, room number B217. Don't go anywhere else if you want to look smart, you want to look dope, you want to look so crazy. Only, only come and get yourself sorted at Ara Collection. Hey everyone, you are watching West Nile Trending. I'm your girl GA Swaga, senior woman rapper. Keep watching it every Saturday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Benchmark Films Uganda. Keep it locked. Peace and love you all. Right, we're still on with West Nile Training. As I told you, 8 p.m. till Mama calls is the time that you and your parents, you and your family should catch the show live at Benchmark Phones, our, our Facebook page. Ladies and gentlemen, in the studios of Benchmark Phones, as I told you, we have the guest artist from West Nile, and he is by the name of... Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, my people? Your boy Love Sun Controller, aka the Love Sun Music King. <laughs> yeah, right. my, my real name's Amalia Mungu Happy, if you don't know, say. Wow. Yeah, man, my musical name's are Love Sun Controller, and I'm the male artist of the year, West Nile. Up to now, nobody has taken that from me, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Love Sun Controller, what's up, my brother? Fine, man, what's up, man? What's up, my MC Wizzy? I'm cool, bro. How do you find things going on out there? Yeah, things are as usual. For me, I look at life as usual, as the same as it has been. As you're pulling over to the studios, how did you find your journey? How was the traffic on the way? Yeah, man, yeah, man. I want to say something about that. These yeah. days, we go to studio because we have time. COVID stories, you know. Wow, so it has given <laughs> you time to make more hits, man. Yeah, man, man. A lot of them coming in through. I have a lot of collaborations. So, when you're coming through to the studio, did you see anyone uh, practicing the right of uh, putting on the mask, social distance? Oh, yeah, most, most of them have masks. Even my producer wears a mask. What about the other guys putting on helmets? Uh, the border border guys have helmets plus government masks that are written G O U. <laughs> government of Uganda. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the studios of Benchmark, we're having Love Sun Controller, aka. Yo, the Love Sun Music King. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you are live right now today. I want you to talk to your fans. Yeah, man. I want you to let them know to know who Love Sun Controller is, what Love Sun Controller does, who he is in the music industry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this one goes straight to you, my people. I've been in this game for long. Yeah, man. I've seen people come and go. Yeah. But I'm still here. If you ask how I'm still here, I have a lot of answers for you. First is how do I keep myself relevant? Relevance is the key to, to real acts in life, you know. True that. How I keep myself relevant is yeah. by doing this. One, I don't produce fake music. Yeah, man. True that. If I'm going to studio, I want to work out. I want to drop a bad video. You know, you know the type of videos I have, man. I've been with Benchmark. I've worked with Benchmark. I've done all my videos I've done with Benchmark. Yeah. If you look at the quality, you can't compare them to any other videos apart from these days, Free Boys videos that are coming in. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think anyone has been beating me over videos here. But uh, you've talked over Free Boy. Free Boy has been doing videos, right? And you also have been doing videos. Yeah. If we were to try to best it uh, with Nell Wise, who is the best? Him or you? I'm still the best, man. <laughs> I'm still the best. West Nell Wise videos, all my videos, I shoot them from here. Yeah. And the quality is there. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, you can't catch that one. So, Lapson Controller, how do you do your work? Okay, like based on what basis, if we are to talk about my work. I'm an IT specialist. Uh -huh. I'm a musician at the same time. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Love Zone Controller tells you that beside uh, the music, he does I, I, IT. IT. Yeah. All right, Love Zone Co uh, Controller, where do you come from? Yeah, most of you people have been asking this question. Now, today, let me clear you people. Um, I'm Kakwa Best, uh -huh. West Nile musician in Arua City. 
but I'm not a Kakua by origin. My mom's uh, mom comes from Kowoko. So I would, my grandma is someone from Kowoko and I was raised by my mother, so uh, I grew up a Kakua speaking person. But in reality, I'm a Lugbara. You're a Lugbara? Yeah, I'm Ive of original, Ive Lugbara. So for how long have you, have you ever based in Kowoko or you're Whoa! normally based in... I grew like... up most of my time uh, uh, in Arua. Mm -hmm. I studied in Arua. Mm -hmm. All my holidays, I spent them in Kowoko. That means you study in Arua, you spend it My holiday in, in Kowoko. Because my mom was there and I loved being there because so of her. So is she still there? No, no, she passed on some good years back, 2014. So that means you've come on hustling alone. Yeah, yeah. man, the hustle has not been easy though. So, Loves on Controller, how many music do you have so far? Wow, asking about music, yeah. I have songs but I have not yet dropped an album and I'm working on an album right now. And uh, that Since album I started called... music, it's called Worldwide Album. Worldwide, how many songs? 15 songs only. 15 songs, are you featuring any artist? I have a collaboration uh, with a lyricist uh -huh. on the song. I have a collaboration with X Bishop on the song, mm. and I have other collaborations which I'm yet to put out, like with Blue Teeth, uh, Barry Spoken is also on the album. Yeah. Yeah. So the production is from here or out west now? I've been working uh, with different different producers. I've worked in Lira with a producer called Danny. Uh huh. I've also worked, worked with Josh Man. I worked with Elvis, which are which are within Aroa. Yeah. Then I've also worked with the producer called Alina Sinjuba. South Sudan. South you. Sudan. Yeah, man. So among all the producers that you have mentioned, who has given you the easiest time? Most of them I think have given me the easiest time because I am the artist. I go with my work ready. And I find them interesting because they're my friends. Yeah. And it makes work easy for us. So in plan of that album that you're working on, do you have any plan of uh, like uh, featuring someone from Central? Yeah, if I had plans of featuring someone in the central, for now, uh, <coughs> there's, there's Mugaba. I, Mugaba. La, I love I love Mugaba's music. Mugaba music. Mugaba, 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 is, is, he? Mugaba is is a new trending artist. Yeah. He has uh, like any audio out? Oh, a lot of audios, man. Some, some good, book? some good music, some good music from Mugaba I've ever I have had. To, I, 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 I do a lot of following, at least of him of late. I've heard his music; it's nice. Uh, and then uh, there's there's this new guy. Uh, my guy's name Crystal Panda. Crystal Panda, <laughs> the guy known I <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You really like that yeah, guy's voice? Like, eh? China man is a good song. Wow. Yeah. So you're working, uh, trying to also work on the videos. Yeah, actually, videos are coming. I've already started. There's a new song of mine which yeah. I did in Kankwa, but now this time it's a rumba. Rumba. Some rumba sound feeling like you're hearing this Congolese test in the song. Which video company are you trying to put in plans I've, for, uh, that, uh, I've, for that I've, audio? I've always worked with Benchmark. Benchmark Films. Yes. Benchmark Films, I've always worked with them. And uh, the last time I contacted them, they told me uh mo the team has moved uh the video team has moved to documenting and uh tv yeah true that yeah only. true that that's what they told me also so, had rumors about but it. i still say it, it it can't stop me from working with them yeah they're they my best in west nile for sure all right ladies and gentlemen we are still with loves and controller in the studios of benchmark films more are still coming on fire list ladies and gentlemen don't touch the dial at benchmark films uganda our facebook page and we are proudly sponsored by our collection Cocot business center room number b217 you're gonna look smart like mc is the host of west nile trending hey everyone you are watching west nile trending i'm your girl ga swaga senior woman rapper keep watching it every saturday from 8 pm to 9 pm benchmark films uganda keep it locked peace and love you all right so welcome back we're still with the program west nile training at benchmark films our facebook page every saturday 8 p.m till mama calls is the right time you should catch the show live at benchmark films uganda ladies and gentlemen as i told you we are proudly powered by ara collection at concord business center room number b 217 we are still with loves and control in the studios of benchmark films uganda Yaman, Yaman, what's up, what's up, my people? What, what? Yo, we're still going on, brother. So, still asking you, like, 
how many audios do you have how many audios do you have so far yeah i have more than 50 audios 50 audios and how many videos seven videos seven vi- videos mm. that means 40 hum- uh 43 43 are still yeah. waiting yeah. for videos and this, those songs some of them i feel like uh, okay this is this, this fifth uh, from the time i started music uh-huh some of those songs i feel like i'm going to take them back to studio and rework on them rework on them uh, so labs and controller you have 50 audios yeah, seven videos done so yeah. how have you been promoting your audios or videos wow that's a good one i've always been the one behind my marketing mm. yeah but this time i've decided to come up and get a team of guys who do my online work yeah then i have a team of guys who do my personal my personal uh, videography yeah photography yeah yeah they've been helping a lot and uh, i have a personal team that handles studio issues now yeah yeah so we have one challenge in west nile that we don't have a tv but we're still trying to push on with the online tv like you're seeing west nile trending so how do you really 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 push your videos because yeah, we don't have a tv yet youtube has been our thing youtube yeah and i've been uh, using my youtube channel wisely trying to trying to do my best as yeah. me but now since i have a team that is going to be handling that in my next project that i'm going to be dropping these guys are going to be the ones to handle okay my, stuff, my online marketing especially on ground online marketing they're going to be one, the ones handling on youtube what names do you use love sun controller love sun controller how about on facebook the same name love sun controller instagram same twitter the same so love sun controller are you single wow that's a good one also that's a punchline. Let me give you this one straight. I'm not yet married. You can see. I don't have a ring on my finger. You're not married. No. But you're I, not married. Yeah, I'm you're not, sure you're not married. I'm not married. You're not seeing anyone. Yeah, I have a friend. I'm seeing <laughs> a friend. Yeah, a friend. Someone yet to become special. We gotta agree to that, man. <laughs> <laughs> rumors say, rumors say that your whole life is rotated within peace is it true oh my goodness let's talk about this like for <laughs> real let's talk about this uh-huh uh what do clear you the airs. okay clear, like, clear, okay, clear like, okay right now. to the world i'm single uh-huh i'm not married yeah i'm looking forward to meeting someone special she's watching you no problem uh-huh she's watching it's okay but uh-huh. i'm looking forward to meeting someone special you know uh-huh yeah so let's work hard upon relationships Okay, I, you know, you're it, leaving I, people I'm, not I'm understanding. Just, I'm, I'm just letting you. them understand no. something. <laughs> Let them know the <laughs> fact that in a relationship, until, until when you guys have agreed to come together to stay together, that is when you can now declare officially <laughs> you are in a relationship. You agree? <laughs> are we together? Oh, you guys are like, I'm hungry. Let me eat. I'm uh, hungry. Uh, let me no, eat. no. The point is like this. I'm telling you, relationships are complicated. Yeah. I had a relationship back then. A very good relationship. I really trusted the lady. Yeah. Trusted the lady. That is like this. I. That was back then, 20, what, what? 20, 2009, 2010. Yeah. I had a relationship. I was still in high school. Yeah. So this relationship actually just taught me a lot about currently deciding on saying whether I'm in a relationship with a lady. Mm. Oh, I'm going to get a ring and put on her finger. Yeah. That decision is going to come upon me now because of the first breakup I had. So I don't want anyone to think I'm already in a relationship. I want them to know this straight that when I'm going to decide to be in a relationship, they will see me put that knee down and yeah. remove a ring from my pocket. Yeah. Then, you know the rest, man. Put it on the right, on the right hand of the lady. But does she believe that you and her broke up? Or she still insists that, man, loves and controller is mine when he sees we, you on the we stage? We're, we're actually, we're, we, have, we have been like away for too long. Man. She oh, knows that the relationship has already been done. Like I already, I already forgot about that relationship. But our cameras move and our journalists get information that on her birthday that she celebrated on Saturday, you got a piece of cake and fed her. Is it true? Actually, even the cake cutting, I was not there. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to tell me that our journalists are forging? Yeah, that is forging because I, 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 I had come out to come and pick my my guys from my place. Yeah. Let them for the birthday party. We reached when the cake was cut because of the weather. 
it was the weather was you know windy you know it was getting rainy and they had to hurry up with the cake cutting when we reached the cake cutting was done i think that was the the most clear thing i could tell you right now oh ah, all right our love sound control have tried to clear out the air that you are not seeing uh you are not seeing anyone but you are friending uh someone yeah and that is true so if you are to look into the world who is your woman crush me among the artists female oh, artists female artists yeah alicia keys alicia keys what do you really like about oh her oh my goodness that may be just another one she has everything so that is to the world how about west nile in west nile ladies yeah female musician female musician mm -hmm. don't tell me you don't have a crush a crush i have friends but i don't crush on them <laughs> why give me the reason as Just to why because, you don't crush on them because uh they're not my test maybe oh so you kind of mean that they're money Marshall. people have that say that girls from west nile are money i doubt i doubt these girls are anyway you can you can say they are money to me i think they're not all that money sometimes this is getting so interesting <laughs> I really want to know this from you. What challenges do you pass through in your music industry or in your music journey? And you really want us, like all oh, the people of West Nile, the promoters of West Nile, the management of West Nile, to change so that West Nile becomes the flag now, global wide. That is the long awaited question. To me, let's, let me first start with these promoters of West Nile. Yeah. I've gotten fed up of them, man. You've got fed up. You want them. to call an artist who goes, assuming let's take a video like my video Vaco. Yeah. I went. I hired a plane. Yeah. I put my money. How much was that? I paid a plane. The plane was two million. Just two million. Hours, yeah. And which was also restricted for us. Uh huh. Paid benchmark one point five. Yeah. One point five. Two yeah. million. Three point five. And then the dressing alone, the costuming of all the team, that money might average five million. Yeah. Then a promoter comes to you. He wants to take you for an event of 200,000. 200,000, which is not worth what you invested in yeah. the video. Yeah. You're not making any sense. So, may I think to the promoters, I will advise them to to at least to, to just adjust. Yeah. For me right now, I'm, I'm not going for an event of 1 million. I want to go for an event from 1.5 above. 1.5 and above. above. Huh? Yeah, if, if not like that, I'll just stay, do my music, put online on YouTube, and we shall wait for our payments. True that. Yeah, and then we have also a new site uh, where we're putting our, our music, truefriends.net. Yeah. Yeah, a site where you can get, even you can get my music by via mobile money, only 1,000. Via mobile money? Yeah. That is uh, which site? Truefriends.net. Truefriends.net, and which names do you use? I love sound control. Also. So you only pay 1,000 in? 1K only. To get via your mobile. Music. We can buy my song online. True that West Nile guys, we really have to, we really, we really, we really have to do that. As Lapson Controller tells you, they got our, our website, website yeah. your website called at truefriends.net. Right? So you buying or getting his music, try to support him in that way, get it at only 1,000 Ugandan shillings. So Lapson Controller, before we leave the studios of Benchmark Films Uganda, I want to ask you this question. What is the least amount of money that you have ever performed for? Least. Yeah. The least was 300,000. And the biggest? The biggest is 3 million. So tell to your friends out there, to the people watching you out there, have you ever done a concert? Yeah, actually, the, I did a concert with Barra Spock and Congolo Duo concert. How did it go? Uh, it went on well. The, the tickets sold out even before the event. Who was behind your dressing? I was dressed by myself and you know me as a designer also this is my own art wow your own art yeah. so love some controller you say that that you have an album that is soon dropping out uh, and among them i just want you to sample your fans your people that were watching you live right now at west now trending uh, uganda yeah man yeah man out of the songs let me sample you this one that is yeah man lyricist. it goes like this oh baby hi uh, uh. Uh, what I told you earlier, could I buy you hurry? Uh, uh, only looking for some money. Uh, wanna be your warrior? Call me, I'm a hurry. Uh, be right on time, be there, be there, be there. Thank you. Yeah, I'm feeling the vibes right now. No love and controller. I want you to put this West Nile trend in the relics of that song right now. First, try it out. Uh, with okay, let's, let's do this. Yeah. 
Okay, let me do this for West Nile friend. Yeah, when. Yes. We've been walking, we've been thinking, we've been trending. Yeah. West now we're coming there. So we're singing, I'll be thinking, I'll be trending. What? West now we sing a na 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 na. Let's go West now trending na na. Whoa, 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 that is Love Sound Controller. Before you leave the studios of Benchmark Films, you gotta want you to say hi to five people who have been with you in your music journey right now. Yeah, man, I first want to say hi to my father, Adrico Jimmy, there. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I really appreciate the fact that you're supporting me this time. Then I want to say hi to the Benchmark team. Thank you very much for supporting my music from the beginning. You guys have been there for me. Then I want to thank my main man, DJ Papa, DJ Wayne, yeah. Lama the Guru. So, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let's hold the artist of West Nile like gold like silver like some things that we really truly adore because today or tomorrow they are the people they are the right people you are the right person you are the right colleague that is going to uplift your friend you're the right person who is going to uplift west now so love some controller before you leave the studios tonight i want you to tell the people where they can find your music where they can locate you which social media platform handle can they finally get you yo to get me to get me anywhere on google I'm yeah. speaking on google just google love sound controller you may get a lot of sites that have my music from the past but now to get my new songs you gotta go to truefriends.net then check on love sound controller buy your own song from there yeah then on youtube you can still stream my youtube channel i've i've made sure the new songs are going to be there but only for streaming which means you only view you, you only download, view yeah you can download you only view wow yeah so ladies and gentlemen we are still in the studios of benchmark films uganda so we are telling you we had a great time with Labs and controller and we are saying you normally have to catch us live every saturdays from time 8 p.m till mama calls you on our facebook page that is at benchmark films uganda and we're telling you this show is proudly sponsored by one and only our collection and that is at concord business center room number b217 call me your boy mc ones and twos you can follow me on instagram that is at mcweezy.com you can follow me on facebook that is at the african mc.com behind the camera i had a loving brother by the names of yas alman benchmark films uganda stay safe corona is real social distance has to be maintained put on a mask Sun ties catch us live in the next episode whereby you get to know Mandezo and DJ Roger have a fight at Club High Five just because of a word that DJ Ray used to DJ Mandezo that you are a not a professional DJ. Simple manager known as SC promoter drawer drops in a crew of professional bouncers right now now don't forget uh, to youtube oh to get downloaded a brand new mixtape by dj vzd street anthem on his i hear this channel call me about mc season one that to stay safe it's benchmark films you gonna west now trending to the world for today on west nile trending thanks for watching let's catch up next saturday don't forget to like comment and subscribe on all our social media platform and youtube west nile trending west nile trending west nile trending west nile trending west nile trending